So what, what was your initial reaction when you heard there was going to be a Greek union here? Because obviously you guys are still very close, but what was it like hearing the news that they want to do a Greek reunion? Well, Sean Smith called me and he was like, so there's this thing going on in Austin and they'll fly you out and they want all of us to be there and we're going to just like talk about Greek. And I was like, sign me up. I was initially worried because it's one of my good girlfriends and bridesmaids and her, I'm a bridesmaid in her wedding and mm -hmm. this is her bachelorette weekend. Oh. So I did actually have to opt out of that in order to be here, but I knew that this was like such a special opportunity yeah. and she have, she's having a two day bachelorette, so okay. I'm joining day two. Okay. So it worked out perfectly, yeah. but um, I'm just so excited to see everyone. Honestly, we haven't all been together in the same place in many, many years. Yeah. Um, you know, like everyone's moved across the country, everyone's working on different shows and movies and stuff, um, but we've all remained friends, so it's so exciting for us to just like get away from all the madness and finally just be together and spend an afternoon reminiscing. Yeah, had you heard, before Sean called you, had you heard about Austin Television Festival or were you like, what is I that? I or... because I think, I think we were, someone was maybe, wondering if we could do this reunion like a year before or uh -huh. something like that so I had like heard of it yeah. um, but I wasn't totally familiar yeah um, so I'm excited to see what it's all about firsthand. Yeah. yeah so going back to the beginning of Greek do you remember your audition process for the show I do yeah I think I went in a few times I maybe maybe mm -hmm. twice before mm -hmm. I had my final test okay. I remember at the test, I want to say Jake McDormand was also there, because they were doing several characters that day. Mm -hmm. I think he was the only other one um, there, and I think he was auditioning to play Cappy okay. at the time. Um, but we were there for a little while, because there were a bunch of us actors that they were kind of narrowing it down to. And I remember going in and totally messing up. Um, I like you know when just words don't come out of your mouth properly and you just like uh, mumble <laughs> something out like yeah. that's what happened in my audition and I think at the very end I just started laughing and I was like all right thank you <laughs> and I left the room um, and I remember like a year later I talked to the casting associate who was in the room that day and he was <laughs> like girl I thought you totally messed that up and you were not gonna get the job <laughs> he's like but we all knew you were the best yeah um, but he was like I remember you best <laughs> and I was like thanks a lot yeah. um, but it was really excited I remember before the um, we shot the pilot my best friend named Ashley actually came over to my house and we just sat on my bed and we read the script together uh -huh. um, because it was such a big moment right you know I had never been on uh, a regular on a TV show before right. you know I hadn't really talked in any parts that I had had on TV at right. that point you know I had like a couple lines and, and things so this was like a really big opportunity for me um, and I also was at the same age as my character like just basically starting right. what would have been like my college years so um it was a really exciting opportunity for me and then i can't believe it lasted for four years yeah yeah it was it was very very cool yeah did you always were you always going out for ashley or did you ever go out for casey or anyone else no, or it was always ashley for ashley yeah, yeah it was just her yeah what did what was it about ashley that you connected with i think just her lightness she was very just like happy and you know didn't like the drama or anything just was yeah. fun and like to be social and I'm that same way um, I would say I have a little bit more of drive than Ashley did in the beginning yeah. of the show and direction in life <laughs> um, uh, but otherwise I would say I, I was a, a lot like her you know not not as into fashion maybe as right. she was <laughs> yeah and you mentioned that you know Greek really was like your college experience in a way because what you you started right after high school right with acting so like you yeah. didn't get to go to college right I was in community college okay. um, just taking random courses you know thinking yeah. maybe I'll get a business degree just to like have something right um, but I also was taking like a musical theater class and a women's history class yeah. and like just all sorts of random things to yeah. figure out what I wanted um, so I was in school just part time while still auditioning okay. and seeing if like an acting career would go anywhere. Right. Um, and then once I got Greek, then I had to drop out of school. Gotcha. Yeah. So 
once you started it, once you booked the role, started shooting, and like actually started shooting for real, yeah. I'm curious, like, how was it everything you thought it'd be, or like, how did your view on things change as the process went on? Because, like you said, it was your first like really big role, first talking role, really even. Yeah. So, like, what was the evolution like as you went on? I had a unique perspective and experience, I think, because my dad was an actor when I was okay. growing up. So I spent a lot of time on sets with him. Like He was, he did a sitcom for a, a, several years of my childhood, so I would go every single week and I would go and right. watch him. So I kind of like knew what the world was like, right. um, but still this was like, it was me in right. my dad's position for the first time. So um, I, um, there weren't any like big surprises. Um, I, I do remember my first day, it, I think it was the second episode of the show, um, where I had like a lot of lines to say and yeah. that was really weird <laughs> uh, it was a scene with uh, with Jake and I in, in Dobblers and I'm like convincing him that he needs to like woo Casey back or something <laughs> um, and that was really weird but um, I'm trying to think what if anything really unique in my um, experience I don't know and it was it was it was uh, it was so many years ago now. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It was, it, we didn't have really trailers on that show. We had rooms in a building, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I don't know. I can't remember anything. But, uh, it was a great four years. Yeah. <laughs> so, kind of, do you have, though, like, a favorite memory or a favorite storyline that really stuck out to you that's like, wow, like, that, like, that was something I got to do. Like, that's really cool. It was really fun whenever they would get me to sing on the show. Yeah. Because um, I think they found out in season one that I like to sing. Mm -hmm. And and so then they let me do that several times throughout right. the show. And then there was that one episode where we got to do, like, a singing and dance number. Yeah. Um, and we were shooting outdoors at UCLA. Mm -hmm. It was um, Good Girls, Girls Gone, Gone Bad, Bad or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so fun because we just got to go to like dance rehearsals yeah. and like learn this dance. Something you didn't get to do that often. Yeah, yeah, like that was a unique thing that we we did. You know, we always had parties on the show, but that was like a, yeah, got to go learn a dance and and yeah. I did go to the recording studio and sing for that. That's cool. Um, so that that moment stuck out, and also I had. I think I had just started dating my husband at right. that time, and he was also in that scene yeah. in the audience. So that was a fun day. Yeah, so kind of <laughs> going off of that, though, so, like, you met your husband on I set did. because he was part of the show. So what was it like playing Fisher and Ashley's relationship but also, like, developing your relationship with your husband, like, off screen? Um, we joked a lot in the beginning that it was, like, life imitating art because in the very beginning of the show our characters were secretly dating each right, other. Right, right. And we were doing the same in real life. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't want everyone involved in my business. Because right. Because it's, like, so cliche to, like, have a showman. To right. Like date a guy on your show. And, like, if it all falls apart, then it's, like, everybody's business. And so right. we very much, for, like, a couple months, we were, like, we have to, like, talk about it at work. Right. But obviously, everyone knew. We were very flirtatious and clearly falling madly in love with each other very quickly. Yeah. Um, but, um... Yeah, we just kind of had this, like, secret little thing, and then I remember I took him to our makeup artist's birthday party a couple months in, uh -huh. and I was, like, kind of being distant and weird because I didn't know how to behave around him <laughs> in a public setting with yeah. all of our crew and, like, our castmates and stuff, yeah. and he just pulled me aside and he was like, let's be done with that. <laughs> like, obviously we're together. And I was like, okay, and then yeah. and now it's... 10 years later. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So, have you seen any episodes recently? When my daughter was first born, I had some, like, random day where I decided to watch it, mm -hmm. and I think I watched, like, eight episodes in one day. Yeah. And just the first season, so I haven't seen anything Any. else since then. So I have very vague memories <laughs> of this whole show. The person that I, I think remembers the most, aside from probably the creators, because they right. have so much more, but is Paul James. Yeah. I'll see, I'll be hanging out with him one day and he'll be like, remember that time when like blah, blah, blah happened on the show? And I'm like, zero recollection. <laughs> Do not remember that at all. Um, he just like has a photograph. I don't know. His memory is amazing. I have, I barely remember. Yeah. I remember small things about my own character, but like right. series, like relationships, things that happened within the series. I'm like, yeah. 
I'm like, remember. Yeah. I need to watch it again, though, because when I did watch those eight, I was having a blast. It was so yeah. much fun. And then, you know, life yeah. happened. Yeah. I forgot to keep watching. Yeah. So two quick questions to wrap things up, because okay. I know they were telling me the thing. So where do you think Ashley would be today? Ashley, I think, throughout her journey on the show, was really struggling to figure out what she wanted out of life and who she was and how to be a leader and, like, a go-getter mm -hmm. and, like, get take what she wants. And so I think now she's very happy where she is. She's mm -hmm. got a great job. She's very fulfilled. And let's say she's with Rusty. Yes. Why not? Yeah, so last question. Our website's called Talk Nerdy with us because we all have some kind of inner nerd. So what is something you are currently nerding out about? Oh, I am currently... I nerd out hard on Pod Save America. Do yeah. You know that is the, oh the yeah. Hard... I live in DC, so. Oh my God, yeah. it's everything to me. Yeah. I don't. I don't. It's not that nerdy, but man, I just lo and and love it or leave it. Yeah. Did yeah. you ever get to see any of their live shows or anything? I've been to one Love yeah. It or Leave It. How was it? It was amazing. Yeah. It was everything I wanted. I had such a crush on John Lovett. <laughs> <laughs> he would never be interested in me. But um, I am a huge fan of their shows, and yeah. I listen to them religiously. Yeah. Big nerd. Yeah.